Hi everyone, I'm here today to compare and contrast the phyla Periphera and Nidaria. Let's start off by talking about their similarities. Hydras and sponges can both reproduce asexually and sexually. Both of them lack bilateral symmetry. Uh, sponges are asymmetrical while Nidaria have radical symmetry. All of them have fewer than three layers of tissue. Nidarians have two layers of tissue while sponges don't have true tissue. Now let's move on to differences. Look at this example here. Being in the phylum Porifera, sponges are complex aggregations of specialized cells, um, and these cells don't form true tissues and organs. They are sessile, which means that they don't move, and they pump in water through these pores, filtering tiny organisms and to obtain food. Sponges are among the structurally simplest multicellular organisms. Hydras, on the other hand, are far more developed. They are organized at the tissue level, and thus they are able to perform functions such as respond to external stimuli and engulf prey. I'll end off with this short clip which demonstrates how different hydras are. They are carnivores, not filter feeders. So in this video, um, it's eating a fish. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for listening to my presentation.